Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Kennedy Center and the Millennium Stage. This is our daily free performance series brought to you by our friends at Target. We are here at 6 p.m., 365 evenings a year to present the very best in music, dance, theater, and more. And if you're ever unable to join us in person, we want to invite you to visit us online at www.kennedy-center.org. You can log on there and watch a streaming live broadcast of each night's performance at 6 o'clock and also choose from thousands of past performances in our broadcast archive. Okay, without further ado, won't you please, ladies and gentlemen, join me in welcoming back to the Millennium Stage, Faction of Fools Theater Company. <laughs> All right. I strike quickly being moved, but thou art not quickly moved to strike. A dog of the house of Montague moves me. Quick, here come two of the house of Montague. Uh, I'll bite my thumb at them, which will be disgrace to them if they do bear it. <laughs> oh! oh! Do you bite your thumb at us, sir? I do bite my thumb, sir. Do you bite your thumb at us, sir? Is the law of our side if I say I? No. No, sir. I do not bite my thumb at you, sir, but I bite my thumb, sir. <laughs> do you quarrel, sir? Quarrel, sir. Ah. No, Ooh. sir. <laughs> if you do, sir, I am for you. I serve as good a man as you. No better. Uh, well, sir. Say better. Yes, better, sir. You lie. Ah. 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 Yeah. Hey, what is? Put up your swords! You know not what you do! What art thou drawn among these heartless times? Turn thee, Benvolio! Look upon thy death! Again, your lives shall pay the forfeit of the peace. Uh, uh, <laughs> Once more, on pain of death, all men depart. All men. You heard me. I Us. heard you. <laughs> oh. Good morrow, cousin. Is the day so young? But new struck nine. Ay, me, sad hours seem long. What sadness lengthens Romeo's hours? Not having that which having makes them short. In love? Out of love? Out of her favor where I am in love. Tut, I have lost myself. I am not here. This is not Romeo, he's some other where. Tell me in sadness, who is that you uh, love? What, shall I groan and tell thee? Groan? Why, no, but sadly, tell me who. In sadness, cousin, I do love a woman. 
I aimed so near. She hath forsworn to love. And in that vow do I live dead, that live to tell it now. Be ruled by me, forget to think of her. He that is struck in blind cannot forget the precious treasure of his eyesight lost. Farewell, thou canst not teach me to forget. <clears throat> I'll pay that doctrine, or else die in debt. <clears throat> <sighs> but now, my lord, what say you to my suit? But saying all what I've said before. My child is yet a stranger in this world. She hath not seen the change of fourteen years. Younger than she are, happy mother's maid. And too soon marred are those so early made. But woo her, gentle Paris, get her heart. My will to her consent is... But apart, and she agree, within her scope of choice lies my consent and fair according voice. This night I hold an old accustomed feast, whereto I've invited many a guest such as I love. Come, go with me. <laughs> go, Sira. <laughs> trudge about through fair Verona. Find those persons out whose names are written here. And to them say, my house and welcome on their pleasure stay. Hmm. <sighs> Find them out whose names are written here. I must to the learned. Oh, good e'en, good fellow. Gaga, good e'en. I pray, sir, can you read? Signor Martino and his wife and daughters. Martino, okay. County Anselm and his beauteous oh, sisters. Mercutio and his brother Valentine. Oh, Mercutio, Valentine, they live over Mine there. uncle Capulet, oh. his Capulet. wife and daughters. Wife and daughters. Oh, my okay. fair niece. Rosaline, okay. a fair assembly, whither should they come? Up! Whither? To supper? To our house! Whose house? My master's? Indeed, I should have asked you that before. Now I'll tell you without asking. My master is the great, rich Capulet. And if you be not of the house of Montagues, I pray you come and crush a cup of wine. Rest you merry. Oh. Oh. At this same ancient feast of Capulets, sups the fair Rosaline, oh. whom thou so lovest, with all the admired beauties of Verona. Go thither, and with unattainted eye compare her face with some that I shall show, and I will make thee think thy swan a crow. I'll go along, no such sight to be shown, but to rejoice in splendor of my own. Daughter. How now? Who calls? Your mother. Madam, I am here. What is your will? This is the matter. Tell me, daughter Juliet, how stands your disposition to be married? <gasps> it is an honor that I dream not of. Well, think of marriage now. Younger than you here in Verona, ladies of esteem are made already mothers. Thus and in brief, the valiant Paris seeks you for his love. A man, young lady. Oh, lady, such a man as all the world. Why, he's a man of wax. Verona's summer hath not oh. such a flower. <laughs> oh, nay, he, in faith, he's a flower. A very flower. Just be over here. This night you shall behold him at our feast. Read o'er the volume of young Paris face. And find delight writ there with beauty's pen. Speak briefly. Can you like of Paris love? I'll look to like, if looking liking moves. <laughs> but no more deep will I endart mine eye than your consent gives strength to make it fly. Madam! The guests are come. Oh. Supper served up. You called my young lady asked for. The nurse cursed in the pantry. Ah. And everything in next to remedy. I must tense to wait. I beseech you follow straight. We follow thee. Onward, give me a torch! 
I am not for this ambling being, but heavy I will bear the light. Nay, gentle Romeo, Romeo we Romeo. must have you dance. <laughs> ah, I, uh, not I. Believe me, you have dancing shoes with nimble soles. I have a soul of lead, Aww. so stakes me to the ground. I cannot move. You are a lover. Ooh. Borrow Cupid's wings and soar with him above a common bound. Under love's heavy burden do I sink. Oh. And we mean well in going to this mask, but... Tis no wit to go. Why, may one ask? I dreamed a dream tonight. Oh, and so did I. Well, what was yours? The dreamers often lie. In bed, <laughs> asleep while they do dream things true. Oh, then I see Queen Mab hath been with you. Queen Mab? What's she? She is the fairy's midwife, and she comes in shape no bigger than an agate stone <laughs> on the forefinger of an alderman. Drawn with a team of little atomies <laughs> athwart men's noses as they lie asleep. Her wagon spokes made of long spinner's legs, the cover of the wings of grasshoppers, the traces of the smallest spider's web, her collars of the moonshine's watery beams. <sighs> Her whip oh. of cricket's bone, the lash oh. of film, her wagoner, a small gray-coated gnat, <laughs> not half so big as a round little worm, her chariot, an empty hazelnut made by the joiner squirrel or old grub. And in this state, she gallops night by oh. night <laughs> through lovers' brains, and then they dream of love. Or courtiers' knees who dream on curtsies straight. Or lawyer's fingers, who straight dream on thieves. Or lady's lips, who straight on kisses dream. Uh, peace, <laughs> peace, <laughs> Mercutio, yeah. peace. Thou talkst of nothing. True, I talk of dreams, which are the children of an idle brain, begot of nothing but vain fantasy. <laughs> ah! <laughs> This wind you speak of, it blows us from ourselves. Oh. Supper is done, and we shall come too late. On, lusty gentlemen! On, oh, oh, lusty, lusty gentlemen! gentlemen. <laughs> Where's Potpan? Potpan! Potpan! He helps not to take away. Away with the joint stools! Away, away with, with the joint, joint stools. stools! Remove the court cover! Remove, Remove the court the cover! Court cover. cover. Oh, look to the plate! Woo! Oh. Oh, welcome, 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 gentlemen, welcome, ladies, <laughs> welcome, everybody, welcome, gentlemen. Well, I have seen the day where I have worn a visor and could tell a whispering tale in a fair lady's ear. Tis gone, tis gone. <laughs> you are welcome, gentlemen. Oh, oh, ah, sh 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 It, it's so good when it works. <laughs> Not yet. Oh. Oh. She doth teach the torches to burn bright. This, by his voice, should be a Montague. Why? Why, how now, kinsman? Wherefore storm you so? Uncle, this is a Montague, our foe. Oh, young Romeo, uh, is it? Tis he, that villain Romeo! Content thee, gentle cuz, let him alone. I would not for the wealth of all the town here in my house do him disparage. <sighs> I will not endure him. He shall I... be endured! <laughs> be quiet, or! <laughs> More light! More light! <laughs> for shame! <laughs> cha cha cha. <sighs> <sighs> or I'll make you quiet. What? <laughs> Cheerly, my hearts. I will withdraw, but this intrusion shall, now seeming sweet, convert to bitter gall. If I profane with my unworthiest hand this holy shrine, the gentle fine is this, my lips, two blushing pilgrims ready stand to smooth that rough touch with a tender kiss. Good pilgrim, you do wrong your hand too much, which mannerly devotion shows in this. 
For saints have hands that pilgrims' hands do touch, and palm to palm is holy palmer's kiss. Have not saints' lips and holy palmer's too? Aye, pilgrim lips that they must use in prayer. Oh, then, dear saint, let lips do what hands do. They pray, grant thou lest faith turn to despair. Saints do not move, though grant for prayer's sake. Then move not while my prayer's effect I take. Thus from my lips by yours my sin is purged. Then have my lips the sin that they have took. Sin from thy lips! Oh, trespass sweetly urged, give me my sin again. Uh, you kiss by the book. Madam! Uh, oh. Your mother craves a word with you. Uh, what is her mother? Mary, bachelor. Her mother is the lady of the house. Is she a Capulet? Oh, dear account, my life is my foe's debt. Hey, away, be gone. The sport is at the best. Aye, so I fear the more is my unrest. Nay, gentlemen, oh. prepare not to be gone. <laughs> Come hither, nurse. Oh, yes. What is yon gentleman? Oh. Go ask his name. Oh. If he be merry, and my grave is like to be my wedding bed. His name is Romeo and a Montague, the only son of your great enemy. My only love sprung from my only hate. Too early seen, unknown, and known too late. Juliet! Oh, and on, and on. Oh, let's away. The strangers all are gone. <laughs> I go forward, but my heart is here. Romeo! Romeo! My cousin Romeo! Romeo! Yo, Rose! Huh. Nay, I'll conjure him. Romeo, humors, madman, passion, lover. He ran this way and left this orchard wall. Come, shall we go? For tis in vain to seek him out that means not to be found. He jests at scars that never felt a wound. But soft, what light through yonder window breaks, it is the east, and Juliet is the sun. Ay, me. She speaks, and yet she says nothing. What of that? Oh, Romeo. Romeo? <laughs> Wherefore art thou Romeo? Deny thy father, and refuse thy name, or... If thou wilt not, be but sworn my love, and I'll no longer be a Capulet. Shall I hear more? Shall I speak at this? <laughs> Tis but thy name that is my enemy. Thou art thyself, though not a Montague. What's Montague? It is nor hand, nor foot, nor arm, nor face, nor any other part belonging to a man. <gasps> be some other name. What's in a name? That which we call a rose by any other name would smell as sweet. So Romeo would, were he not Romeo called, retain that dear perfection which he owns without that title. Romeo, doff thy name, and for thy name, which is no part of thee, take all myself. I take thee <laughs> thy word. Call me but love. And I'll be new baptized. Henceforth, I never will be Romeo. Art thou not Romeo and a Montague? Neither, fair saint, if either thee dislike. How camest thou hither? Tell me, and wherefore? With love's light wings did I or perch these walls. <laughs> for stony limits cannot hold love out. <sighs> Dost thou love me? I. I know thou wilt say I. And I will take thy oh. word, yet if thou swearest, thou mayst prove false. Lady, by yonder blessed moon I swear. Oh, swear not by the moon, the inconstant moon, lest that thy love prove likewise variable. What shall I swear by? Do not swear by thy gracious self. If my heart still well, love Well, do not swear. Although I joy in thee, I have no joy of this contract tonight. It is too rash, too unadvised, too sudden, too like the lightning which doth cease to be, ere one can say it lightens. Sweet, 
Good night. Oh, wilt thou leave me so unsatisfied? What satisfaction canst thou have tonight? The exchange of thy love's faithful vow for mine. I gave thee mine before thou didst request it. Madam! Oh, I hear some noise within. Dear love, adieu. Three words, dear Romeo, and good night indeed. If that thy bent of love be honorable, <sighs> thy purpose marriage. Huh. Send me word tomorrow where and what time thou wilt perform the rite. Madam! No. Oh, I come anon, but if thou meanst not well, I do beseech thee. Madam! Fire, I, I come hey. to cease thy suit and leave me to my grief. A thousand times, good night. A thousand times the worse to want thy light. Good night. Oh. <sighs> good night. <sighs> Parting is such sweet sorrow that I shall say good night. Till it be morrow. Sleep dwell upon thine eyes. Peace in thy breast. Would I were sleep and peace so sweet to rest. Hence will I to my ghostly father's cell his help to crave and my dear hap to tell. <laughs> Good morrow, father. Benedicite. What early tongue so sweet saluteth me? Young son, it argues a distempered head, so soon to bid good morrow to thy bed. Or if not so, then here I hit it right. Our Romeo hath not been in bed tonight. That last is true. The <gasps> sweeter rest was mine. Be plain, good son, and homely in thy drift. Riddling confession finds but riddling shrift. Then plainly know my heart's dear love is set on the fair daughter of rich Capulet. Oh! As mine on hers, so hers is set on mine, and all combined, save what thou must combine, by holy marriage. Whoa. When and oh. where and how we met, we wooed, and made exchange of vow. I'll tell thee as we pass, and this I pray, that thou consent to marry us today. Holy St. Francis, what a change is here. But come. Young waverer, come, go with me. In one respect, I'll thy assistant be. For this alliance may so happy prove to turn your household's rancor to pure love. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Where the devil should this Romeo be? Came he not home tonight? Not to his father's. Ah. Here Ooh. comes Romeo. Signor Romeo, bonjour. There's a French salutation to your French slop. You gave us the counterfeit fairly last night. What counterfeit did I give you? The slip, sir. The slip. A pardon, good Mercutio. In such a case as mine, a man may strain courtesy. Oh, that's as much as to say, such a case as yours constrains a man to bow in the hams. <laughs> oh, meaning to curtsy. Thou hast most kindly hit it. A most courteous exposition. Nay, I am the very pink of courtesy. Pink for flower. Right. Why then is my pump well flowered? Well said. Follow me this jest now till thou hast worn out thy pump, that after the single soul of it is worn, the jest may remain after the wearing soul singular. Oh, <laughs> single soul jest, solely singular for the singleness. Why, is not this better now than groaning <laughs> for love? Now art thou sociable. Now art thou Romeo. Now art thou what thou art. Peter, anon. <laughs> Oh, Here's goodly gear. God, you good morrow, gentlemen. God, you good evening, fair gentlewoman. Gentlemen, can any of you tell me where I may find the young Romeo? I am the youngest of that name. If you be he, sir, I desire some confidence with you. Ooh. Ooh. Farewell, ancient lady. Oh. Farewell, <laughs> lady, lady, lady. Oh. Scurvy knave. <sighs> uh, pray you, sir, a word. And as I told you, my young lady bade me inquire you out. But first, 
Let me tell you, if you should lead her into a fool's paradise, as they say, truly, it were a very gross kind of behavior, as they say. Nurse, commend me to thy lady and mistress. Bid her devise some means to come to shrift this afternoon. And there she shall in Friar Lawrence's cell be shrived and married. <gasps> Here is for thy pains. No, truly, sir, not a penny. Go to, I say you shall. This afternoon, sir, well, she shall be there. Oh. Peter! Oh, get on! Peter! Lady, oh, lady, oh, lady! Oh, you lady, scurvy, lady, 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 you. Oh, oh, my. The clock struck nine when I did send the nurse. In half an hour, she promised to return. Perchance she cannot meet him. That's not so. Go, oh, she is lame. Had she affections and warm youthful blood, she would be as swift in motion as a ball. My words would bandy her to my sweet love and his to me. But old folks, many fain as they were dead, unwieldy, slow, heavy, and pale as lead. <sighs> oh, God, <sighs> she comes. Oh, oh honey nurse, what oh. news? Oh, Jesu, what haste! Can you not stay a while? Do you not see that I am out of breath? How art thou out of breath when thou hast breath to say to me that thou art out of breath? Hey, Is thy news good or bad? Oh, Answer to that! How my head aches! What a head have I! Oh. It beats as it would fall in twenty pieces! My back to the other side. Oh, my back! Oh, my back! Beshrew your heart for sending me about to catch my death with jaunting up and down. In faith, I am sorry that thou art not well. Sweet, sweet, sweet nurse, tell me, what says my love? Your love says, like an honest gentleman, uh, and a courteous, uh, and a kind, uh, and a handsome, uh, and I warrant a virtuous, uh, where is your mother? Where is my mother? Yeah. How oddly thou repliest. Your love says, like an honest gentleman, where is your mother? Oh, God's lady, dear, henceforward do your messages yourself. <gasps> Come, what says Romeo? Have you got leave to go to shrift today? I have. Then hie you hence to Friar Lawrence cell. There stays a husband <gasps> to make you a wife. Hi to high fortune. Honest nurse, farewell. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is my favorite one. Do thou but close our hands with holy words, then love devouring death do what he dare. It is enough I may but call her mine. These violent delights have violent ends, and in their triumph die like fire and powder which as they kiss consume. Love moderately. Oh, here comes the lady. Come, come with me, and we will make short work, for by your leaves, you shall not stay alone till Holy Church incorporate two in one. <sighs> oh, well. Almost. <clears throat> oh. oh. Hey. hey. <gasps> oh. All right. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Pray thee, good Mercutio. Oh. Let's withdraw. Oh. The day is hot. The Capulet's abroad. And if we meet, we shall not scape a brawl. For now these hot days is the mad blood stirring. Come, come! Thou art as hot a jack in thy mood as any in Italy. And as soon moved to be moody, and as soon moody to be moved. Oh, by my Gen head, here come the Capulets. Oh, by my heel, I care not. Gentlemen, Goodin, a word with one of you? And but one word with one of us? Couple it with something, make it a word and a blow. Mercutio, 
Thou consorts with Romeo. Consort? What? Dost thou make us minstrels? And thou make minstrels of us. Look to hear nothing but discord. Here's my fiddlestick. Here's that shall make you dance. We talk here in the public haunt of men. We must depart. Here all eyes gaze on us. Men's eyes were made to look. And let them gaze. I will not budge for no man's pleasure, I. Ahem! Ahem! Oh. Ahem! Oh. 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 Well, peace be with you, sir. Here comes my man, Romeo. The hate I bear thee can afford no better term than this. Thou art a villain! Oh. Oh. Ah. Tybalt! The reason that I have to love thee doth much excuse the appertaining rage to such a greeting. Villain am I none. Therefore, farewell, I see thou know'st me not. <laughs> Boy, this shall not excuse the injuries that thou hast done me. I do protest I never injured thee. Oh, come, <laughs> vile, oh. dishonorable submission. <laughs> Tybalt. You rat catcher, <laughs> will you walk? What wouldst thou have with me? Good king of cats, nothing but one of your nine lives. I am for you! Gentle Mercutio, put thy rapier up! Conserve your passado! Draw them, will you beat down the weapons! Oh, for shame! Yeah. Oh, bear this yeah. outrage! Yeah. 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 Oh, you yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. The prince expressed what has for fit bending in the road! Oh, yeah. oh. 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 Yeah. oh. Yeah. 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 I am sped. <laughs> what art thou hurt? I, I, a scratch, a scratch. Hello, tis not so deep as a well, nor so wide as a church door, but tis enough. Twill serve. Ask for me tomorrow, and you shall find me a grave man! <laughs> <laughs> I am peppered. I warrant for this world. Oh. A plague of both your houses. Zoons. A dog. A rat. A, a mouse. A, a cat. To scratch a man to death. A braggart. A rogue. A villain. Fights by the book of arithmetic. <sighs> Why the devil came you between us? I was hurt under your arm. I thought all for the best. The plague about your houses. <laughs> they have made worms meat of me. I have it. And soundly, too. <sighs> Your houses. Now, Tybalt, take the villain back again, which late thou <laughs> gavest to me! <laughs> ah! For Mercutio's soul is but a little way above our heads. Staying for thine to keep him company. Either thou or I or both must go with him. Thou, wretched boy that did skin sword him here, shalt with him head. This shall determine that. Ah, 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 thing. Ah, gentle. Ah, 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 Romeo, a 
away. Be gone. Stand not amazed. The prince will doom thee death if thou art taken. Hence, be gone. Away. Oh, I am fortune's fool. Where are the vile beginners of this fray? Oh, noble prince, I can discover all the unlucky manage of this fatal brawl. There lies the man, oh. slain by young Romeo, oh. who slew thy kinsman, oh. brave Mercutio. Oh. Oh. Tybalt, my cousin, oh, my brother's child, oh, prince, oh, cousin, husband, oh, the blood is spilt of my dear kinsman. Prince, as thou art true, for blood of ours shed, blood of Montague, oh, cousin! Cousin! Four, five. That's everyone. Uh, okay. Uh, we'll just, uh, okay. Ah! Oh! Oh! Uh, Tybalt here slain, whom Romeo's hand did slay. He is a kinsman to the Montague. Affection makes him false. He speaks not true. I beg for justice, which thou, prince, must give. Romeo slew Tybalt. Romeo must not live. Romeo slew him. He slew Mercutio. Who now the price of his dear blood doth owe? Not Romeo, prince. He was Mercutio's friend. <laughs> his fault concludes but what the law should end. The life of Tybalt. <laughs> And for that offense, immediately we do exile him hence. I will be deaf to pleading and expenses. Nor tears, nor prayers shall parch us out abuses. Therefore, use none. Let Romeo hence in haste. Else when he's found, that hour is his last. Gallop apace, you fiery-footed steeds, towards Phoebus' lodging. Come, gentle knight, come, loving, black-browed knight. Give me my Romeo, and when he shall die, take him and cut him out in little stars, and he will make the face of heaven so fine that all the world will be in love with night and pay no worship to the garish sun. <laughs> Oh, Romeo! Hath Romeo slain himself? I saw the wound all in gore blood. I swooned it at the sight. Oh, break my heart. Poor bankrupt, break at once. Oh, courteous Tybalt, honest gentleman, that ever I should live to see thee dead. Is Romeo slaughtered and is Tybalt slain? Tybalt is gone, and Romeo banished. Romeo that killed him, he is banished. Oh God, did Romeo's hand shed Tybalt's blood? It did, it did. Alas, the day it did. Shame come to Romeo. Blistered be thy tongue for such a wish. Will you speak well of him that killed your cousin? Shall I speak ill of him that is my husband? Tybalt is dead, and Romeo banished. Ha! Ah! Banish it! Be merciful, say death! For exile hath more terror in his look, much more than death! Do not say banish it! Oh, rude ungratefulness! Thy fault our law calls death! But the kind prince, taking thy part, hath rushed aside the law and turned that black word death to banishment! This is dear mercy, and thou seest it not! Tis torture and not mercy! Heaven is here! Juliet lives, and every cat and dog and little mouse, every unworthy thing, live here in heaven and may look on her, but Romeo may not. He is banished. Oh, fond madman, hear me, but speak a word. Oh, that will speak again of banishment. 
Oh, who knocks so hard? Uh, whence come you? What's your will? Oh, holy father, where's Romeo? There on the ground with his own tears made drunk. Oh, he is even in my mistress' case, just in her case. Oh, woeful sympathy, piteous predicament. Even so lies she, blubbering and weeping, weeping and blubbering. Ah. Stand up! Oh, stand up! Oh, stand, stand and you be a man. For Juliet's sake, for her sake, rise and stand! Spakest thou of Juliet? How is it with her? Oh, she says nothing, sir, but weeps and weeps, and now falls on her bed, and then starts up, oh. and then down falls again. Oh, tell me, friar, in what vile part of this anatomy oh. doth my oh. name lodge? Tell me that I may sack oh. the hateful oh. mansion. Oh, hold uh. my desperate hand. What? Thee, man, thy Juliet is alive, for whose dear sake thou wast but lately dead. There art thou happy. Tybalt would kill thee, but thou slew Tybalt. There art thou happy too. The law that threatened death becomes thy friend and turns into exile. There art thou happy. A pack of blessings light upon thy back. Happiness courts thee in her best array. But like a mishaved and a sullen wench, thou pout'st upon thy fortune and thy love. Take heed. Take heed. For such die miserable. Go, get thee to thy love as was decreed. Ascend her chamber hence and <clears throat> comfort her. But look thou, stay not till the watch be set. Go before, nurse, commend me to thy lady. Romeo is coming! Oh, Lord, I could have stayed here all the night to hear good counsel. Oh, oh what learning is. <laughs> my Lord, I'll tell my lady you will come. Oh, how well my comfort is revived by this. Either be gone before the watch be set, or by the break of day disguised from hence. Sojourn in Mantua. Tis late. Good night. <sighs> Things have fallen out, sir, so unluckily that we have had no time to move our daughter. These times of woe afford no time to woo. Madame, farewell. Oh. Commend me to your daughter. Uh, wife, go you to her ere you go to bed. Uh, acquaint her here of my son Paris love Stop. and bid her mark you me a Wednesday next. But soft, what day is this? Monday, my lord. Monday? <laughs> well, Wednesday is too soon. A Thursday let it be. A Thursday. Tell her she shall be married to this noble earl. Will you be ready? Do you like this haste? My lord, I would that Thursday were tomorrow. Wilt thou be gone? It is not yet near day. It was the nightingale and not the lark that pierced the fearful hollow of thine ear. It was the lark, the herald of the morn, no nightingale. Look, love, what envious streaks do lace the severing clouds in yonder east. Yon light is not daylight. I know it, I. It is some meteor that the sun exhales to be to thee this night a torchbearer and light thee on thy way to Mantua. Therefore stay yet. Thou needst not to be gone. Let me be tame. Let me be put to death. I have more care to no. stay than will to go. Come, death and welcome. Juliet wills it so. I hence, be gone, away. It is the lark that sings so out of tune, straining harsh discords and unpleasing sharps. Oh, now be gone, more light and light it grows. More light and light, more dark and dark are woes. Madam! Oh. Your lady mother is coming to the chamber. The day is broke. Be wary, look about. Then window, let day in, and let life out. Farewell, farewell. One kiss, and I'll descend. Art thou gone so? Lord, love, I husband, friend. Oh. Farewell. Oh, thinks that we shall ever meet again. Uh, I doubt it not, 
And all these woes shall serve for sweet discourses in our time to come. Oh God, I have an ill divining soul. Methinks I see thee now thou art below, as one dead in the bottom of a tomb. Either my eyesight fails, or thou lookst pale. And, and trust me, love, in my eyes, so do you. Dry sorrow drinks our blood. Adieu. Adieu. Oh, daughter! Oh. Are you up? No, 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 Juliet. Uh, I am not well. Evermore weeping for your cousin's death. But now I'll tell thee joyful tidings, girl. Marry my child. Early next Thursday morn, the gallant, young, and noble gentleman, the county, Paris, at St. Peter's Church, shall happily make thee there a joyful bride. No, by St. No, Peter's. Peter's Church! And Peter, too! He shall not make me there a joyful bride? Bum, bum, Here comes bum, your father. Bum, 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 bum. How now, wife? Have you delivered to her our decree? I, sir, but she will none. Bum, 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 bum. Soft. <laughs> Take me with you. Take me with your wife. <laughs> How? Will she none? Or does she not give us thanks? Is she not proud? Does she not count her blessed, unworthy as she is, that we have wrought so worthy a gentleman to be her bridegroom? Not proud you have, but thankful that you have. Proud can I never be of what I hate. How now? How now? Chop logic. Hmm. What is here? <laughs> Proud. Uh, I thank you, and I thank you not, and yet not proud. Whoa! <laughs> Mistress, minion you. <laughs> thank me no thankings, nor proud me no prouds, but fettle your fine joints against Thursday uh, next to go with Paris please. to St. Peter's Church, no. or I will drag thee on a hurdle thither! <laughs> Out, you green sickness carrion! How do you baggage? You tallow face! Fie, fie! What are you mad? Good father, I beseech you on my knees! Speak not! <laughs> reply not! Please, do not father. answer me! My fingers itch. And you be mine. I give you to my friend. And you be not, hang, beg, starve, oh. die in the streets, for by my soul I'll ne'er acknowledge thee. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, sweet my mother, cast me not away. Talk not to me, for I'll not speak a word. Do as thou wilt, for I have done with thee. Oh, God. Oh, nurse, how shall this be prevented? Some comfort, nurse. Oh, faith, here it is. Romeo is banished, and all the world to nothing. Oh, then, since the case so stands as now it doth, I think it best you married with the county. Oh, he's a lovely gentleman. I think you are happy in this second match, for it excels your first. Or if it did not, your first is dead. Or twere as good he were as living here, and you no use of him. Well, thou hast comforted me marvelous much. Go in and tell my lady I am gone, having displeased my father to Lawrence Sell to make confession and to be absolved. Mary, I will, and this is wisely done. Ancient damnation, I'll to the friar to know his remedy. If all else fail, myself have power to die. Ah, Juliet, I already know thy grief. If in thy wisdom thou canst give no help, then with this knife I'll help it presently. Hold, daughter! I do spy a kind of hope. Oh, take thou this vial, being then in bed, and this distilled liquor, drink thou off. The roses in thy lips and cheeks shall fade. Each part deprived of supple government shall stiff and stark and cold appear like death, and in this borrowed likeness of shrunk death, uh, thou shalt continue two and forty hours, and then awake oh. as from a pleasant sleep. Now, when Count Paris in the morning comes to rouse thee from thy bed, uh, there art thou dead. Then, as the manner of our country is, thou shalt be born to that same ancient vault where all the kindred of the Capulets lie. Oh, in the meantime, against thou shalt awake, shall Romeo, by my letters, know our drift, uh, and hither shall he come, uh, and he and I will watch thy waking, and that very night shall Romeo bear thee hands to men to uh, Oh, love, give me strength, and strength shall help afford. Farewell, good father. Uh, oh. How 
Now, now, my headstrong, where have you been gadding? Where I have learnt me to repent the sin of disobedient opposition and beg your pardon. Pardon, I beseech you. Henceforward, I am ever ruled by you. Oh. So please you, let me now be left alone, for I am sure you have your hands full all in this so sudden business. Good night. Bum, 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 bum. Get thee to bed and rest, for thou hast need. Farewell! God knows when we shall meet again. My dismal scene I needs must act alone. Come, vile. Romeo, I come. This do I drink to thee. Oh. Why, lady, fie, you slug a bed. What? Dressed and in your clothes. Oh, and down again. I must needs wake you. Lady! 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 <gasps> alas! Alas! Help! Help! My lady's dead! For shame, bring Juliet forth, her lord is come! Aqua vitae ho, my lord, my lady, she's dead! Deceased, she's dead, alack the day! Oh, alack the day! She's dead! She's dead! She's dead! Oh, oh child, oh, child, my soul and not my child! Oh, lamentable day! Oh, woeful time! Get out thou! Alack, my child is dead! My love! Oh! Come, is the bride ready to go to church? Ready to go, but never to return! Oh, love! Oh, life! Not life, but love in death! Despised, distressed, hated, martyred, killed! Beguiled. Divorced, but wrong, and spited, slain! The cursed, unhappy, wretched, hateful day! Oh, wow! Oh, woeful, woeful, woeful day! Oh, day! Oh, Most detestable death by thee beguiled, by cruel, cruel, thee quite overthrown. Sir, go you in, and everyone prepare to follow this bum, fair bum, course bum, bum, unto bum, her bum, grave. Bum, bum. <laughs> News from Verona, how now Balthazar, how fares my Juliet? That I ask first, for nothing can be ill if she be well. Then she is well, and nothing can be ill. Her body sleeps in Capel's monument, and her immortal part with angels lives. Is it even so? Then I defy you, stars! I do beseech you, sir, have patience. Your looks are pale and wild, and do import some misadventure. Tost thou art deceived! Hast thou no letters to me from the friar? No, my good lord. No matter. Get thee gone. And hire horses. I will be with thee straight. Well, Juliet, I will lie with thee tonight. Come, poison. Go with me to Juliet's grave, for there must I use thee. Only Franciscan friar, brother. Ho! Oh, this same should by his voice be Friar John. Welcome from Mantua. Oh. What says Romeo? Oh, my speed to Mantua there was stayed. Who bear my letter then to Romeo? I could not send it. Here it is again. Unhappy fortune! By my brotherhood, the letter was not nice, but full of charge of dear import, and the neglecting it may do much oh. danger. Oh. Friar John, go hence. 
Get me an iron crow and bring it straight under my cell. Brother, I'll go and bring it thee. <clears throat> so I will write again to Mantua and keep Juliet at my cell till Romeo come. Now must I to the monument alone. Within three hours will fair Juliet wake. Poor living corse, closed in a dead man's tomb. Thou detestable maw, thou womb of death gorged with the dearest morsel of the earth. Thus I enforce thy rotten jaws to open, and in despite I'll cram thee with more food. Give me thy torch, boy, hence and stand aloof. Give me that mattock. Give me those flowers. Give me the wrenching iron. Do as I bid thee go. Oh, <sighs> sweet flower, with flowers thy bridal bed I strew. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, Juliet, why art thou yet so fair? Death that hath sucked the honey from thy breath hath had no power yet upon thy beauty. The obsequies that I for thee shall keep nightly will be to strew thy grave and weep. Ah! Oh, this is that banished haughty Montague. Mercutio's kinsman, noble county Paris. Condemned villain, I do apprehend thee for a felon here. Ah, oh, wilt thou provoke me? Oh. Then have at thee, boy. I am slain. Give me thy hand, one writ with me in sour misfortune's book. I'll bury thee in a triumphant grave, for here lies Juliet, and her beauty makes this vault a feasting presence full of light. Oh, my love, my wife, oh, here will I set up my everlasting rest and shake the yoke of inauspicious stars from this world-wearied flesh. Eyes, look your last. Arms, take your last embrace and lips. Oh, you the doors of breath seal with a righteous kiss, a dateless bargain to engrossing death. Come, bitter conduct. Come, unsavory guide. Here's to my love. Oh, true apothecary, thy drugs are quick. Thus, with a kiss, I die. What's here? in my true love's hand. Poison, I see, hath been his timeless end. Oh, Charles, drunk all, and left no friendly drop to help me after. I will kiss thy lips. Haply some poison yet doth hang on them to make me die with a restorative. Thy lips are warm. Lead, boy, which way? Yea, noise, then I'll be brief. Oh, happy dagger. This is thy sheath, their rust, and let me die. Okay. 
Oh, sovereign, here lies the noble county Paris slain, and Romeo dead, and Juliet dead before, warm and new killed. What should it be that they so shriek abroad? Oh. What misadventure is so early up that calls our person from our morning's rest? Oh. Oh. Alack, alack, what blood is this which stains the stony entrance of the sepulchre? Oh. Oh. What further woe conspires against mine age? It's... Oh, thou untaught, what manners is in this to press before thy father to a grave? Romeo, they are dead, no. was husband to that Juliet, <gasps> and she, oh, they are dead, oh. that Romeo's faithful wife. I married them, and their stolen marriage day was Tybalt's doomsday. Tybalt? Whose untimely death Whoa. banished the new-made bridegroom from the city? Whoa. Ah. For whom, and ah. not for Tybalt, Juliet pined? You to remove that siege of grief from her betrothed and would have married her perforce to County Paris. Oh, yeah, I like that guy. <laughs> then comes she to me, oh. and in my cell there would she kill herself! No, 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 no. no. Then gave I her, so tutored by my art, a sleeping potion. Sleeping potion? Sleeping potion! Which so took effect as I intended, for it wrought on her the form of death. Oh. Meantime, I writ to Romeo that he should hither come, as this dire knight, to help to take her from her borrowed oh. grave. But he which wore my letter, Friar John, Friar John! Returned my letter back, so find we here the noble Paris, and true Romeo dead! Oh! oh. Uh, ah! And Juliet, as it seems, did violence on herself. Oh, all this I know, and if aught in this miscarried by my fault, let my old life be sacrificed some hour before his time unto the rigors of severest law. Okay. Ah, 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 ah. We still have known thee for a holy man. Really? Where be these enemies? Capulet, <laughs> Montague, uh, see what a scourge is laid upon your hate, that heaven finds means to kill your joys with love. Oh, brother Montague, give me thy hand. Oh, a glooming peace this morning with it brings. The sun for sorrow will not show its head. Go hence to have more talk of these sad things. Some shall be pardoned and some punished. There never was a story of more woe than this of Juliet and her Romeo.